Hey there, Geminis. Welcome to your November 2014 Rune Scope with me. My name is Amanda. Just want to give you that quick reminder that I always do to also check out the video for your rising sign. If you know it, that can give you some more information that uh, may be a little murky in this general sun sign reading. Um, it can definitely help clarify things or let you know what other areas or issues you may be dealing with uh, stuff in, in, uh, uh, in November. Wow, tongue twister. Tongue twister. I'm still in Mercury retrograde while I'm filming this. That's my excuse. But anyway, anyway, Gemini, I did also want to mention, though, of course, the only way to get a reading only for you is to schedule one with me. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for a 30-minute session. Um, but we can take a look at any issues you're most concerned with and uh, see what specifically for you, what guidance the, the rooms can give. But let's jump into November after that huge launch feel. See what we got for my gems. All right, Gemini. With the challenge around for you in November, um, some of you may be concerned about either your health or or the health of someone close to you. Um, you know, and it may be that, you know, they, someone has gone to the doctor, they can't find what's maybe causing this person's discomfort or pain. Um, it may be a bit of a process, you know, test after test after test. Um, so if it's not you, it could be an older female relative or your mother uh, or, or someone that is, you know, ha has some sort of chronic pain but can't. You know, the doctor can't seem to find out, so maybe having to go to a lot of specialists, and you may be involved, maybe you're carding, you know, taking this person, we almost said carding, but you know what I mean. Yeah, running this person to their appointments, um, taking them where they need to go so they can get this uh, checked out. Some of you may be dealing with uh, conflict at work, and it, there may be a lot of just bickering, uh, and, and this may be going on within close pros proximity to you or with amongst people that you are closest with at work. Um, but yeah, just people not getting along and it's it seems to be taking the focus off of the project, off of the work, um, off of you know the goal that everybody's trying to accomplish. Um, and some of you may be kind of getting fed up with that. You may be looking to, to leave that situation. Um, or maybe there's just something going on where you feel uncomfortable at work. Um, you know, and this can work in a lot of different ways. You know, maybe you've dated someone you worked with and it didn't work out and now you have to see this person every day. And, and this on top of other things is not really helping uh, the situation. So, um, what, you know, that, if that has been going on prior to November, Gemini, I mean, it may, you know, it's, it may recur. Um, not that I'll be going on all month, but I mean, that is your biggest challenge of the month is, uh, is dealing with that, keeping your head down and actually getting work done. Cause again, there's just, there's just distractions going on for some of you. Maybe they're renovating the building. That's just loud. <laughs> that just kind of came to me that they're like, yeah, there's a lot of hammering and you know, and you're trying to, you're sitting there trying to get your work done and it's, you know, very irritating. Um, so that maybe something like that or street work outside if you're in a, if you're in a big city. Um, so, I mean, that may be the biggest challenge and I don't see a lot of you being involved in this. Some of you may be, or somebody may be trying to drag you into it if that's what it is, but, um, you know, could also be family bickering. Um, but yeah, it, it's really, um, but it's, it's like pointless bickering. Nothing's getting accomplished. Nothing's getting accomplished. Um, but you may be concerned about someone who is either having a health problem, maybe they're just going through a difficult time, doesn't have to be a health problem, maybe they're just depressed, uh, and you're trying to um, help them through a difficult life change, help someone through a difficult uh, circumstance that they are dealing with that doesn't specifically involve you, or maybe it does. Um, maybe you're just handling a little, it a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, and, and I see you being really concerned about this person and, and maybe not knowing how to help this person. Um, 
but you know it'll be different for all of you kind of how you know this will I don't feel like this will color the whole month but it's your biggest challenge so whenever it does crop up it is going to kind of take your focus for that particular day or week or however long it's kind of at full force um, but help that's going to be available to you during the month of November um, some of you are going to be maybe receiving a declaration of love from someone who maybe previously you didn't know this, that you didn't know they felt this way about you. Um, this may be somebody trying to reconnect with you uh, who maybe before was, um, this may be somebody that hurt you before and is now trying to come back in and offering you with the Two of Cups uh, a new start, a new beginning. And again, we have the Knight of Cups. Now we had the King of Cups last month, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video where the spirit appeared behind me. But now we have the Knight of Cups, but the, he's in reverse. So again, a water sign, but with him in reverse, this is somebody you don't know if you can trust. Um, knights are normally younger. So this could be somebody younger than you, or if you are young in your 20s, I mean, this could be somebody about your age. Um, it could be your son. Uh, it could be, um, it could be uh, a friend, a nephew, and it does not have to be male, but it, he is presenting his Knight of Cups. But it, yeah, in the reverse, it's somebody who can be a bit deceptive manip and emotionally manipulative, um, stubborn, pouty. <laughs> uh, but the biggest thing with him is that um, he's, a, he's a bit of a manipulator emotionally, well, actually a lot of a manipulator emotionally, but because he's presenting as a knight, he's not as manipulative as a king of cups would be. Because that is a, that's somebody who has a lot of experience uh, doing that. He's just learning his manipulative wiles. So yeah, I mean, I think if this is a knight of cups who's, who's offering you this declaration of love or wanting to reconnect or get back together or if you cross paths again, um, you know, and if it could be this thing at work, this person that you maybe dated before, now trying to kind of reconnect, um, and you being like, I don't, you know, I don't really trust you after what happened last time. There's a lot of trust issues going on in whatever this scenario is, whether it is a romantic relationship or a family relationship or a coworker. Um, but what the runes are saying is, don't take anything at face value. Uh, People are going to be, there's a lot of talking, a lot of communication going on in November, Gemini, and a lot of people are going to be telling you a lot of things. And some of them are going to be true, and some of them are going to be false. Um, so what the runes are saying is, is like, investigate as best you can any claims that anyone, you know, anything that anyone tells you or uh, definitely let them kind of just be like okay words but talk is cheap you know if this is somebody coming back in wanting to reconnect with you and they hurt you before just be you know talk is cheap prove it with action and we'll go from there trust is earned um, it's very important that it's very important that everyone uh, if you're gonna let someone into your life I feel that they prove through action that they're committed to whatever it is, whether it's a romantic relationship, a friendship, um, a family bond. I mean, you know, you, you can't take relationships for granted and no one should be taken for granted. Um, but talk is cheap. Anybody can say anything. Uh, if you don't prove it with a your action and the way that you treat someone, well, it's pretty bogus and useless. So, and Gemini, I think that's gonna be your approach and that's probably your best approach in November. Um, Truth will out, is what they're showing me. Truth will out. Don't make any sudden moves. Just kind of let everybody else come to you in November. Because they, they will be. <laughs> they will be. And some of them will be honest, and some of them won't be. Um, what can't be changed about November is that... You know, whatever situations aren't working in your life, whether it's this work situation, whether it's this health issue, um, you're going to be able to detach from it. And Gemini, you're very, you're very good at this normally. Um, you know, of course, it's, it's, you know, that's a general 
uh, thing about your sign. But detaching from emotion for air signs is generally a little bit easier um, than the other signs. So yeah, if there's something going on that is, you know, a bit chaotic or upsetting, you're going to be able to detach from it. So yeah, this challenge, whatever it is, is not going to um, color your whole month. You're going to be able to uh, think about and do other things. You're going to have uh, some joy coming up in your life uh, in November. This is, could be a celebration. This could just be you doing something with someone you care a lot about, your spouse, your boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, but it's going to take your mind off of, you know, whatever yucky stuff may be going on around you. Um, you know, we do have Thanksgiving in November here in the States, and a lot of people do celebrate that. You may be going to spend time with your family. That's going to kind of get, you'll get some time off if this is a work situation that's kind of not awesome. Um, you know, you'll get a break from that, and uh, you may take some extra days. Some of you may take that whole week off, so, and, and you know, just kind of get away from that. Um, Whatever, whatever has you feeling either stabbed in the back, and this could be from a while ago. It doesn't have to be. I don't feel like this happens in November. I feel like, um, you know, if it does, it's something that has already started because we have the Ten of Swords. So uh, I think about nine of those swords are already in your back. There may be one more, but it's kind of like you're like at this point. You know, I was just waiting for it. Um, yeah, this is this is an old situation. This is old news, I feel like, for most of you. Um, but yeah, if somebody betrays you, if you feel lied to, um, somebody's betrayed your trust, you're going to sever that relationship if you haven't already done so. Most of you, I think, is, have already done this. But if there are some of you that are still kind of hanging on or uh, have been giving someone the benefit of the doubt that who does not deserve it, you'll sever that for good. Um, so this could symbolize a separation for some of you, Gemini. Um, this could be a, a, a spouse who has, you know, wronged you and is trying to talk you into staying and, and giving it another shot, but you don't believe this person. You're just really suspicious. And um, I feel like a lot of you will be done in November if that's the case. You're just done. With this person and uh but uh, the the joy rune is coming up right next to this kind of divorce or severance or whatever this is um you know and it doesn't have to be a romantic situation again it can be a family relationship a friendship you know any relationship where somebody has betrayed your trust and uh or betrayed something you've told them your confidence betrayed your confidence told a secret Maybe you didn't want anyone to know. Um, but yeah, it's going to free you up to experience joy. Um, and I definitely feel like there's going to be a new beginning for a lot of you Geminis in November that you're intuitively pulled toward. And this is presenting as the King of Rods, but I don't feel like it's going to be a person for all of you. Um, it, for some of you, it's just going to be a, a new beginning, a new situation. It can be a new job opportunity, a new business, a new creative project. Um, but the King of Rods, it, if he does figure as a person, is uh, normally a fire sign or somebody with those attributes. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, man. Um, and he's very uh, creative. He is very action-oriented. This is the guy that like climbs rocks. He does the rock climbing stuff or, um, you know, he's very communicative, very outgoing generally. Um, that, just a general picture. Um, so yeah, this may be somebody that you are intuitively led to for, and it'll be for different reasons for all of you. Um, for you ladies, this may be a, a new romantic interest um, or, or gay men. I mean, this may be a, a romantic interest. Uh, he doesn't have to be male, though. It could also be female. I always try to throw that in because I always get people asking, well, could it also be a female? Yes. Yes, it could. Um, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but somebody who has those attributes. Maybe they have fire elsewhere in their chart or fire rising. But um, I, and this can also, though, for those of you who it's not a person, um, it, it could also be, a, like I said, a new job offer. 
that you are, it could be somebody that you just meet by chance and you start gabbing and find out that this is somebody who owns a business and, and in your field and is looking for somebody who, do, who, um, who does what you do for a living. Uh, so yeah, there could be something very synchronistic happening as far as meeting someone new. Uh, Gemini and it could be for uh, you know more personal reasons or it could be for career so be on the lookout for that and what I'm wondering is if this king of rods for some of you is not all maybe he has a water sign rising and maybe that's how the king of cups from from last month fits in or maybe he's a water sign with a fire sign rising so yeah uh, pay attention to the new people coming into your life October and November Gemini because there's something very and you'll know it because you're gonna feel like oh this is this is so crazy how this happened or how I met this person or how this situation occurred that it just I know it's the right thing to do or it's the right move because um, it's not something I could have kind of done on my own yeah, there's some there's some kind of hand of God aspect going on in November regarding a new opportunity or a new person coming into your life uh, Gemini so um, yeah definitely uh, very cool reading actually for November. So, and yeah, don't forget, post up in the comments. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your life. And especially let me know about uh, uh, the King of Cups and uh, water sign people and how they've been playing into your life. I'm very interested to know that. But uh, good luck for November and I'll see you back here next month.